What's up guys, this is Damien with Hachi Online and today we're going to root the Samsung Galaxy S3. This root method though only works for the LTE variants. So that would be AT&T, Sprint, Rogers. I'm not sure about, it definitely will work for T-Mobile also. I'm not sure uh, about Verizon, but I will post a link in the description to uh, the thread in XDA and you can maybe check it out and check uh, some of the comments and see if someone has been able to get it to work on Verizon. Uh, now, it's kind of a weird way that, you know, not weird, but uh, not traditional way that uh, phones are rooted because we're going to install Clockwork Mod, uh, the recovery on our Samsung Galaxy, Galaxy X, S3 and then we're going to root it in the recovery. So, you know, just a little bit different, but definitely as long as we get root, who cares? So let's get into this, uh, this rooting. Okay, so we're here at XDA, and the first thing that we want to do is find the uh, Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3 Android development uh, thread. Now, from there, we're going to scroll down to how to easiest root method. And, uh, and like I said before, this root method is going to entail two different uh, pieces to the root. First, installing a recovery clockwork mod, and then we're going to root from recovery. So, uh, this is where we want, we're going to start off with the uh, clockwork mod recovery. And you're, there's there's links below because you're going to need to download a few files. First file that you're going to need is you're going to need your drivers for the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 for uh, your Windows PC. And this this only works right now for Windows. So uh, I'm a Mac user too, guys, um, as you can see, and you know I just use boot camp and boot into Windows you know uh, it's always nice to have a Windows or a Linux computer laying around because you know they always work for uh, everything basically you don't have to worry about someone coming out with a Mac version <laughs> to be able to to do this so okay so once we have the uh, drivers for our Galaxy S3 downloaded we're gonna put our phone in download mode and to do that you want to power off the device and once it's powered down we're gonna turn on and then quickly hold down the uh, volume down power and the home button once that pops up we're gonna press press up to continue and boom we're in download and uh, we've installed those drivers we want to go ahead and download uh, Odin for uh, Windows this version I think is 3.04 and we're gonna unpack Odin and then open the application and you can unpack it to wherever you, you need it to be wherever you want the application to be but as long as you unpack it okay so once we have uh, Odin unpacked we're gonna run Odin so once we have it running we're, what we're gonna do now is you're gonna plug your USB cable into your Galaxy S3 and plug that into your computer. Now, if your drivers are set up properly, then when you plug in your USB cable to the computer, uh, Odin should recognize your device and then the uh, the com box on the left will, uh, will turn blue with a, a message added. So next we want to go to the options and uncheck the auto re reboot box. Okay, so you want to have uh, made sure that you downloaded the clockwork mod recovery file because uh, now we're going to flash that. So you want to select the PDA box on Odin and you're going to search for that clockwork mod recovery file that we downloaded and you, you're going to select that so once that appears and we go back to Odin now we've got our Galaxy S3 connected and it's in download mode we're going to select start and once we select start it's going to go through the commands and if we get a pass uh, then that we know that basically everything's uh, went went the way we want it to go so 
there we you see we've got a pass so now we have our clockwork mod we aren't rooted but we do have our clockwork mod available for us so that now we can go on to the next step which is the actual rooting process now it's important that we're, we're going to have to reboot the phone but when we reboot the phone we want to immediately reboot into recovery which would be the power button volume up and then the home button because if the phone is allowed to boot all the way up we'll lose this whole method it's clockwork mod recovery that we just did so so now we have our device and we've just installed clockwork mod we want to disconnect the device uh, from the the uh, computer and we want to restart the, the device now the best way to ensure that you you have complete power off is do a, to do a battery pull so we're gonna take the battery out really quick plug it back in oh I'm sorry place it back in the uh, compartment uh, pop that plasticky <laughs> that plasticky back on the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 and then we're gonna like I said before we're gonna hold down we're gonna power it on but then immediately go into volume up home button and then power holding all three down until we see the blue flash above and then we're going to release them okay so we are now in clockwork mod recovery uh, and this is where you want to make sure that you da have downloaded the team epic group from recovery zip because we're going to flash that uh, through this recovery so you want to transfer that team epic root from recovery zip to your SD card I just uh, used a card reader and installed it on there which will be pretty much the easiest way to get it on there you could also do uh, you can uh, mount your system your SD card and then install it that way uh, while it's plugged in to the computer so we're gonna select install from SD card and then choose zip from SD card and then we're going to flash the team epic root from uh, recovery zip so we're going to scroll down and select yes and once we select this thing is going to do its business and you're going to see a lot of code right about now so as it goes through its code uh, when it when it's finished you'll see like a, a successfully flashed uh, screen you'll come back and uh, we need to reboot the system okay so now we've rebooted the device and this is a quick check to make sure everything went as expected so we're going to go into our app drawer and we're going to locate the super user file and as you can see we have super user and i've already you know uh, approved a couple of apps so we know that we now officially have root and i'm going to go ahead and update the uh, binary uh just quick quick tap and uh let it let it do it do its thing so as you can see you know it, it was a little bit uh different from a normal route but still nothing big you know very simple uh i hope you guys enjoy the video subscribe subscribe click some ads uh and this has been damien with hosh online and i will see you guys next vid peace